Alrighty, guys, we're back. Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. You don't say. Then why do you think I'm men up here? Go home. Go home. Or you get yourself killed. I'm enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captain. What? Fear not. Fear not. That man's no stranger, that man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. I'm, sure I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Your lady's finished, Your lady's finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe, Parker you're, seems not to believe you're not completely useless, so I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. The fighting starts. The fighting starts. We'll, need we'll need to hold those positions there. So They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boy. Good boys. Not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience. Well, to, to his lips. Them. That's something you can do. You get shit pretty lips. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. Wait. Crazy lips. The British are coming. Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. Okie dokie. Ah. Uh. My signal. over there go. Go. I'm shooting over there oh they have to go to a group of ah now they tell me this make ready go fire Two groups there. Go back. Then. Make ready. Fire. Fire. <laughs> no, I don't like games like this. Wait for my signal. Wait for my signal. Fire. I say fire, but like, 
um, do we fire now or do we fire later? It's kind of my fault because I didn't realize there was three groups of um rebels, but now I know. Do I have to be on the back of the horse? Wait for my signal. Strategy need to use. Prepare yourselves. Make ready. Make ready. When they stop. Shoot. Hey, that one. <laughs> Prepare yourselves. Oh, base grips first. Ride. Wait for my signal. Wait for my signal. Shoot. Fire now! Ah. Wait for the signal. Fire now! There you go, you got the hang of it. Hold fire! Wait for my signal. Fire now! Fire now! Got this down. Wait for the signal. Fire Do it. Now. Wait for the signal. Fire. Wait for my signal. Open. Fire. Even, I'm just shooting at random now. Prepare your shoot. Shoot. shoot them. I'm just getting this shit at random now. Wait for my signal. Wait for the signal. Go! Do it! None of them are crossing the bridge in the middle. Oh, there's one group coming. It's alright. Hold fire! Shoot! Prepare yourselves. Open fire. Probably should ping at the wrong times, but oh well. Fire! Yes! Fall back. Fall back. Fire! We did it! They're turning tail! <laughs> Booyah! Ner, ner. Can I let these guys? Oh, my god. Some of the worst guys I've ever They're like, you carry on because they want I'm like, yay! Pardon me while I just loot you there.
takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. And what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Hmm. It never is. Brownie face. Support of the glorious cause. I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there is no man better suited to the task. Really? I can think of several. Charles Lee. Do I know you? I would not expect you to remember. <laughs> I Come, Connor. There's someone I want you to me. meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. Sorry to pull you away like that, but the last thing we need is the two of you coming to blows. Blows, eh? Connor, allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed commander-in-chief. George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. As humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. And lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. Where is Charles Lee? Alrighty guys, I'm going to pause it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like if you like this episode. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Bye!